I'm Michael. And today we're checking out Dig Your Way Out. This is oh. like Dig Out Your Way. No. No. That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. From Borderline Editions. Uh, plays two to six players. Uh, box time says 45 minutes, but I don't think it took us that long when we played. Probably with more people. Maybe so. There's a lot more fights. <laughs> a lot more extortion. Uh, in case you're wondering, we are uh, prisoners trying to dig our way out of yes. the prison. <laughs> that is what we're doing with, here. With shovels and pickaxes and even spoons. <laughs> That's right. When we have nothing else, we can use a spoon. So... Uh, let's take a look at how this is laid out. So, there are six gangs that we can join in the prison. There are one, two, three, four, five different locations to which we can move. And there's solitary confinement, which we could be sent to. Uh, so, uh, what all do we do? So, we start off in the cell block uh, with two to three players. We need to collect 12 tunnel points to win. And what is a tunnel point? Well, a spoon can give you one tunnel point. So this is one of the 12 that you need to win. Um, once one of us reaches that 12 point mark, um, trying to remember, is it over immediately or is it everyone gets the same number of turns? I'm trying to remember here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, as soon as uh, somebody reaches the necessary number of tunnel points, the, this player wins and the game ends. Uh, with five to six players, it's only eight points. So you only need a couple of shovels and a pickaxe and boom, you're out of the prison. Anyway, um, whenever it's your turn to play, you can perform two actions. There are basic actions and place actions. So each of the prisoners... Um, has a male side and a female side. So the, for the large ones, you've got Nick and Betty. Uh, you've got Huan and John. Uh, Carmen and Carlos. Alex and Danny. Uh, Irina and Vlad. And Steph is playing Tasha on the other side, Luther. So there is your Tasha again. I have Nick. At the bottom are all of the actions that you can take. Uh, the basic uh, actions can be taken just about anywhere with a few exceptions. Um, some of them can only be done one time each turn. For example, search uh, and extort can only be done once each uh, player turn. Uh, some of the other things uh, can only be done in certain locations. And so these are basic actions over here. Uh, and these are place actions that can be done only in a specific place. Uh, if you have received a number of beatings, one beating uh, makes it so you can no longer craft. Two beatings me means you cannot craft nor can you dig. You just don't want to do a whole lot of anything uh, whenever you are, uh, whenever you have taken a beating. Uh, each uh, player card also shows the number of points you need to win the game and a maximum hand size. Um, in addition, there are all of your crafting formulas down along the bottom. So what are the different actions that you can do in the game? Uh, the, mo the easiest thing to explain is to search. Uh, in each of these locations, you can draw a number of cards from the deck. One card, three cards in the showers, one card in the, um, in the medical, what is that called? The, um, the infirmary, the cafeteria, you can draw two, and in the rec area, you can draw two. Um, so that would consume your action. And so based on your location, that's uh, how many cards you can draw. Uh, I forgot to mention each of these uh, player standees, they actually come with little plastic standees to stand them up. But for your enjoyment, we have them placed flat in the prison. So you guys can see what's going on. Um, the thing that you'll most often be doing is moving. But hey, we're prisoners. We can't just move anywhere we want. Um, we can do a simple move 
where we roll the die and go to that location. Uh, if for some reason we're in the cell block and we roll a one, we cannot stay in the cell block, meaning we must move to the matching location, which would be the cafeteria. Um, alternatively, you can do a cautious move. Instead of rolling the die, you can use both of your actions to go to a specific location. Now, you might say, well, that's an that's entire waste of a turn. I have actually uh, been in the cell block, rolled a three, had to go to the infirmary, and decided, you know what? I don't want to be here, and I roll the die again, and roll a three, and go right back to the cell block. And therefore, my turn was completely blown. Yep. So, um, uh, what else can you do? Well, you can join one of these six gangs. Choose the gang you want to join, and you have to have in your hand a number of accessory cards for that gang. Uh, if you will notice, here underneath all of the crew cards are the items that you need to have. The, there's a cap and a neckerchief and some jewelry. If you have two of those three, um, then you can collect the top crew card. Uh, if you do, you will have this ability. For example, uh, at the end of your turn, if you don't have any cigarette tokens, gain two, otherwise gain one. Uh, each of these gain cards are a little bit different. So drawing the top one would allow the next one to become available if for some reason Steph wanted to also join the crew. Uh, the cartel needs slightly different things. So you've got uh, a hat, a cap, and a watch, and, a, and some boots. So if you have two of those three, you could join the cartel. Two of these three, you could join the bikers. Two of these three, Bratva. The triad and the queers each have all six icons available. If you can give any three mm -hmm. non-matching things, all of these are non-matching, two non-matching for these, three non-matching for these, then you could join either of uh, those two gangs. Uh, and once you've joined a gang, uh, you've got that ability. You can only be in one gang at a time. So if uh, I am in triad and I wanted to join Bratva, I would give up my triad card. Um, what else can you do? Uh, you could play an action card from your hand. Some of these uh, cards will have a little lightning bolt symbol on it where you will reveal that card, apply the effects, and then discard it. For example, here is one solitary confinement. I could play this and Steph uh, could be sent to solitary confinement where she cannot draw cards, she cannot craft, and she cannot uh, she cannot do uh, an extortion. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We could craft, but we cannot craft in the cell block or the showers, as you can see from the little uh, do not enter sign next to the craft. Uh, whenever you craft, if you have a rope and a razor blade, you can bind it together and make a knife, a rope and a, I don't know what this little spiky object is, uh, maybe a drill bit or some uh, something like that. Uh, you can craft a pickaxe, some string and pan. a pan will make a shovel. And you guess you like bind the, <laughs> bind the uh, pan with to the string to make the shovel. Uh, you can't craft a spoon, but you can uh, pick them up from the cafeteria. I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, all three of those uh, actions. Oh, no. The the string in the razor blade is two knives, not just one. Yep. It's got two down there. All of these are down here at the bottom. So just in case you uh, forget. Uh, the only thing we've not talked about of our simple actions is extortion. Um like I say, you can do this once per turn. You need to have at least one weapon card, like this fine knife, uh, though a razor blade does actually work for a weapon, uh, if you have one, which is why you get two knives, I should mention. Um, so, you have to be in the same location. Hey, we're in the same location, so I could end up extorting Steph. I could say, hey, I want a particular tool. 
either a spoon or a pickaxe or a shovel. Works really well if for some reason I just saw her craft a shovel. I say, hey, give me that shovel. No. And I will throw out a weapon. If Steph does not want to give me that shovel she just created, she can protect herself with a weapon of her own. And we will go back and forth playing weapons until one of us gives up. If that happens, uh, that player loses the combat and takes a beating. So knocks out one of Tasha's teeth or whatever. Nick should not beat up Tasha like that. Tasha really? uh, needed, needed to defend herself. Um, I, it's weird. It's got a co-ed cell block here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, actually, it probably gives the wrong idea. You should probably be Luther. <laughs> um, we'll say that Tasha beat up Nick. He took a beating. Uh, since uh, I did not... At, uh, you did not ask for a shovel from me. I don't have to give you a shovel. I would give you a random card. Now, let's say that I did defeat Tasha. Uh, you would give me the shovel that I asked for, and you would take that beating. If you truly don't have a shovel, I would get a random card from your hand. Hey, Time Roller. Hey, Time Roller and Meeple Grande. What's oh, up? Meeple Grande here. Hey, Drew. Welcome, welcome. Um, so I am, uh, I am playing a character that looks a little like Drew with the uh, <laughs> beard going on. Viking. <laughs> looks like the little Viking character. So, um, so anyway, in, in any case, hey, if that's you, me. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> um, so all the weapon cards played during an extortion are discarded, uh, if you just gave me, if you just gave me that shovel, you would indeed avoid the beating. So, um, there is no combat. The extortion ends there. You would just give me that shovel. Uh, if that, if that second knife gets played, somebody's going to take a beating. Yep. So let's talk about location actions uh or uh what they call them, place actions well do you want to talk about the beatings and what you can uh, do i did talk about that if you've taken one beating then you can't craft if you've taken two beatings you can't craft nor can you dig yeah until you heal uh your beatings which we're going to talk about that here in a second uh the most number of beatings you can have is two beatings uh that's the worst you can be uh if you uh, if ever take a third beating you just still stay on two beatings. That's the worst that you can be beat. Um, in the cell block, you can dig, um, play one and only one tool card for your action and dig that many spaces. Basically, if I've used this shovel, I'm going to put it here next to my character and I have done three of my 12 needed dig points. Uh, tunnel points, rather. In the cafeteria, you can spend an action to steal a spoon. In the infirmary, you can spend an action to remove one beating. Uh, in the recreational area, you can sell and buy. Each of these cards has a number of points that it is worth. You notice that this is worth two cigarettes. So if you sell, you can sell any number of cards in order to take a number of cigarettes. Uh, you can even get cigarettes in packs of five. Or you can get these Lucy's right here. Um, so sell any number or buy one. You can discard two cigarettes to take a knife, as you can see right here. You can sell five cigarettes to take two knives. You could sell six cigarettes for a pickaxe. Eight cigarettes will get you a shovel. Now you can only do that here in the recreation yard, buying and selling. You can craft, uh, at, well, Almost. at these three places, you can't craft in the showers or the uh, cell block. You can craft any of these places, but you cannot sell anywhere or buy anywhere but the rec yard. Uh, the only thing that I have not mentioned uh, are our uh, background cards. The background cards allow us some sort of special thing once per game. And if you are a member of a certain gang, that action will be even better. So, oh, is it? It's Miko's art, you say? Yeah, he's done a lot of ah. 
You probably are familiar with his, <clears throat> his games. Probably. Um, you can use uh, Michael. Uh, well, it's not Michael. It's Michelle or Michelle. So Michelle as a guy uses this dandy. Michelle as uh, as a female uses this dandy. The, it's both Michelle and Michelle, as you can see here. So there is, it's basically an Atama that you definitely need to use with two players. You could play it with all six players, though. You can also add Michelle or Michelle. You would not use both of them. That would be way too much. Whenever you just whenever you use this, there's an eight card Atama deck. Um, whenever someone ends up in the same location as Michelle, you will draw one of these cards. If it is a knife, then Michelle is looking for a particular tool. Basically, Michelle is saying, hey, do you have a spoon? And you can, it basically it works just like an extortion. If you play a knife, Michelle will play the next card and the next card. Oh, look, Michelle doesn't have another knife. Two out of these eight cards have nothing. Six of them have knives, making Michelle a rather dangerous individual. Um, but otherwise, it works exactly like an extortion. Um, you have to discard one of the tools shown on the initial Michelle card. Otherwise, you discard one uh, at random, as you normally would. So we'll put Michelle's deck down here. Whenever we end up on Michelle or Michelle ends up on us, then we have to do that extortion, including if, the, if he comes to a location where I am and I moved Michelle there accidentally, I would have to go first and then you would go separately. Um, how this works is, uh, if we decide to use Michelle, then at the end of our turn, we can decide whether or not we want to move. And if we move Michelle, we're going to move Michelle based on the roll of a die. Hey, look, I rolled a five. Well, he can't stay in the shower, so he's definitely going to the infirmary. This is the danger. If I were in the infirmary or the uh, rec yard, I would probably not want to roll for Michelle because Michelle could move to one of those locations that I have no control over. Uh, if I'm in the cell block, I almost definitely want to move Michelle, especially if Tasha is out and about in one of the other locations. Let's say I roll a one, I could choose to move Michelle to the cell block or the cafeteria. Obviously, Michelle would be going to the cafeteria in that case. So, uh, that is how the Atama works. Yeah, he's done like all of like the raiders and Oh, that's Raiders. Yeah, that's where I've seen it before. He's done a lot of games. I mean, he's done a lot of artwork. Uh, it's fantastic art. Yeah. Um, all of these abilities, I, I read them to Steph uh, during the break. Um, they're all super powerful. Um, uh, I've already showed the crew, um, but all of these seem really good. Like the cartel knife throwing when you extort a player. Uh, you can target a player that is an adjacent place away from you. I mean, that seems really strong. Knife throwing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alexa, flip a coin. Okay. We start off with three cards. You got tails. You got tails. I, I would be going first. Man. You throw it down. Mm. You first. Me first. Uh, I think... I am. Do you move him first or do you move End him of first? your turn. End of your turn. End of your turn. Not the start. I'm going to roll. That's how I got ruined. I rolled a four. I am going to move. I'm going to move to the cafeteria. And you know what? I think I'm going to draw two cards. Yep. And? And for sure I'm going to move Michelle. A five. He must go to the infirmary. I'm going to move. I believe I have. If I roll a three, this. though, it's a really bad. Oh, yeah. He talked about artists on uh, on board games and mentioned Raiders of the North Sea on stream. Nice. Very cool. All right. I'm you, just not going to roll a three. Uh, like that. You have ended up <laughs> in Michelle's location. And Michelle says... 
I like you, little buddy. Which makes the other seven cards really ugly, really bad. Oh, man. I guess I'm just going to explore one. It's terrible. Think That would be your turn. Uh, yeah. I, I can move him. I you will. can move him. How about a five? To the shower. You're going to move him to the shower. I don't have a choice. I think... I had a really great ability last game that I could just move from adjacent block to adjacent block. I will draw I two missed cards. That. I bet you do. And you know what? I think now is the perfect time to... Uh -huh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Craft a shovel! And I am... Yeah, I think I'm going to move him. Let me put this in the discard pile, which is unfortunately by my character. I'm just going to put him over here. Oh, he's coming back! Michelle says, I want a shovel. <laughs> just take the beating. Uh, and there's a random one. card. I got bad cards all around. Uh, that's That was bad. Shoestring, that's pretty bad. All right. I, now, um, if you have a weapon, you don't have to play it. It's sort of weird in the rules. There's a spot that says that you must play, but then it says if you do not want to play. Uh, so we are going with that rule. I don't have a weapon anyway, so I'm going to heal myself since I'm here. You might as well. And then I'm going to move. He does not pre prevent you from healing. To the cell block or the yard. Let's go to the yard. Go to the yard. And that's me. I'm not going to move him. Well, I can, actually. You can. And then? He can go up here and kill you. Can I go kill me? He says, hey, you're my ah, little buddy. Wow. <laughs> this is so close. Ah. <laughs> I am going to move my prisoner standee to the cell block and draw a search card. It seems good. And then uh, I'm here. I'm going to dig. Usually it's better to have a bunch, but I'm not going to risk the shovel. So I'm going to dig, diggity, dig, dig. And uh, a one in six chance that he will end up on top of me. So I am not going. Mm, I'm not going to move him. Okay. That's a risk. I will draw two cards. Drawing two cards because you're in the yard. Yes. And I will draw... Oh, I can't draw more. Uh, you can search one time per turn. Hello, Xiaofeng. Yeah, it's really interesting. I'm going to sell these items for... How many cigarettes? Nine. Whoa. Wow, you could have joined a gang for that. No, I you couldn't, couldn't have joined it. You Otherwise, checked. I probably would have. They were two identical ones. That's why. Yep. So you're sitting there on nine cigs. Yep. And here's the weird thing: you can't extort for cigarettes or for any of these tools. Um, I think it's probably just done for simplicity's sake. Are you gonna move? Mm, that's my turn. You're not gonna move me, Shay. I am Michelle. done. Yeah, I would roll a four. So. Um, it's possible. <laughs> Uh, I am definitely moving out. Please don't roll a one. I rolled a five, which sends me to the showers, and this is a great place for me to draw three cards. Drawing in the showers. I'm gonna draw cards. Drawing two cards. Or did you want to move him or no? Uh, you know what? He's perfectly safe for me to move. I think I will. He is definitely moving to the cell block. You're gonna draw two cards still? Yep. All right. Uh, hand limit of 10. I am not there. I am and at 8. I will... I will buy... Whoa. I will buy a shovel. You bought a shovel for 8 cigs. I, yeah, That sure. seems really good. They are cigarettes. Don't they look like cigarettes? <laughs> 
I am going to draw three cards before leaving the show. Oh, you're going to move Michelle? No. I'm going to draw three cards. That puts me at 11. So I have to discard down. Discard down before the end of my turn? I, was, I assume it's as soon as, but I'm going to look. Hmm. At, at the end of your turn. We're just trying to dig out a prison, as you would. As you do. You know what? Now is a really good time. I can join the crew. Uh, that's the only one I can join, I think, with the cards I have. At the end of my turn, if I don't have any cigarettes, gain two. The crew has six. And now I am under ten. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to draw two. Or unless uh, you're moving. I am going to move him because... No, I'm not... Not going... Not going to move him. All right, two cards. Two cards coming up. <clears throat> what are you going to do now? Oh. Oh. I don't like it when you say, oh. Err. Err. <laughs> I like it when you say that. Can I draw Err. it again? So those are cigarettes. Yes, these are cigarettes. <laughs> can, you can buy these things with cigarettes. You're trying to dig your way out. I'm going to join a gang because I can. That's what I did. <laughs> What's the, this third one? Yeah. This one? Yeah, it looks like. It is something you could do. You can join Bratva. All right, what does he You're do? You're untouchable during other players' turns. You can't be targeted by action cards. I like this. Well, I wasn't planning on targeting you anyway. Are you going to move? But is, aren't these action cards? No, they are not. Action cards are the... Oh, like... Oh, putting me in, like... Yeah, I got you. Like these, if it's yeah, right. it's the it's got Putting the little lightning bolt on it. Putting you in solitary is one of them. All right. Are there Rita Hayworth posters in the game? Yes, there are. I don't know if any of them. They're not really Rita Hayworth, but they there are um, questionable magazines. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, that was my turn. You so. moving, Michelle? No. I'm gonna move. I'm going to move to the Yod. And I'm going to sell those magazines and some snow. Wow. And a cell phone. What? You have all this like high I quality have, stuff. I have 15 Why? points. Dang. I have 15 points worth of stuff. I've almost got a pack of cigs. That's more than a pack of cigs. Dang. What? You got one cigarette. That's what I mean. I've got 17 six. Yeah, it's more than a pack is what I'm saying. Oh, I thought a pack was 20. Someone tell so. me. All right. Bullet Star, the sequel to Bullet Heart, will be here Friday. Nice. Oh, I love Bullet. You haven't played it, Michael. It's so I good. have not played Bullet Heart. It is right there. I know. I love it. All right. Are you done? Uh, that is my turn. I don't want to. I don't want to poke the bear. Draw two, I guess. Drawing two and what else? Different game. <laughs> oh, I need my. I need a cigarette because I'm part of the crew. I'm just gonna sell everything here. That's not sell as it. much as you have though. Four and four is eight. Nice. Not great. So selling a watch, a hat, a cork screw, and uh, some magazines. That's yeah, eight. cigs are twenty. That's what I. That's what I thought. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to draw two. And I'm going to discard these two for two knives. Mm. That would be a craft action. You. All right. Are you moving him? I guess Negative. Not. I am not. I do have three knives, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to get a shovel. And nice. I'm going to transfer. Exchange two standees location on the board. 
No! <laughs> yes. No! What does he want? Oh, a spoon. He wants a, a spoon. Uh, I'll take a beating. No, I don't want to take a beating. Craptastic. He is... <laughs> He is going to trash me. I don't have a spoon. Is so you don't have much choice. I don't have much choice, sadly. So he cannot craft. Michael cannot craft with the one. Are you beating. moving him? No. Are you moving? Now, did you do that in a as a third action? No. No, that you was did. my second action to play the transfer card. Got you. Uh, two. Come up here. I don't want to go up there. Well, you didn't have to move. <laughs> well, I did, sort of. Give me that shovel. No. Give me that shovel. So um, I take a beating, I No, guess. this knife. Do you not have a shovel? Well, I can choose to take a beating. Yes, and then give me the shovel. Why? I thought you'd draw a random card. Uh, if you have the shovel, you must give the shovel. Intimidation. If you have the wanted tool in hand, you can cooperate. If you don't have it or don't want to cooperate, then uh, you are the attacker and your target is the defender. Taking turns, we play weapon cards. The victor... Um, takes one card from the loser's hand. The tool the attacker was asking for if the defender had it and lost or a card randomly drawn from the loser's hand. Therefore... Alright. Are you done or are you going to move Michelle? I'm not going to move him. Alright. I will... Uh, get my cigarette. Might as well. I will dig. Dig, diggity, dig, And dig. then I'm going to riot. Take... What's riot? Take all the cards and hands from all the players, including mine. Shuffle them and distribute them face down one by one to every player clockwise. And that's your last card? That's it. God, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to see what you've got. No. That's total bullcrap. <laughs> it's a prison for you. I'm going to use my bonus here. As what? Play a third card. All right. Play a third action, I should say. All right, as your your thing is done. That's it. Are you moving, uh, Michelle? No. All right, I'm moving out. <sighs> Screw this place. Go to the shower. Or uh, the going to the shower actually is not a bad idea, and I'm drawing three. Did you want to move him? I take that. Uh, sure. I can only get hurt on a six. Two. Oh. You. What does he want? He wants any tool you've got. I got no tool. Let's fight. <laughs> I really initially thought you guys were playing an Arnak expansion. No, we, uh, we just finished it. We did just finish so it. So you do not have it? We're fighting. Uh, we're fighting. Uh it still wants the original tool, though. Fighting. I got nothing. Yep. So I so take how a about beating, that beating, and this card goes. And that card goes. Ouch! Yeah. Rude! Well, they were all free cards to you anyway. Yeah, I know. You... <laughs> um... Hey, come to the showers. It's fine in here. I'm gonna roll out of here. Roll out! Two! Two. I guess I'm going down here. And then? I'm gonna draw some cards. Two cards. I keep forgetting my free sig. These are terrible. Terrible! That it? Yep. You can move, Michelle? Mm, you do have a no. one in six chance. Nope. Nope. So this is called Dig Your Way Out. One, two, three. It does look like Dig Out. <laughs> it does look like Dig Out. You're missing the tiny little words. Right. In between. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. I guess I'm moving. I'm moving six. What's up? 
Dan's asking, can we dig it? Uh, I can dig it. <laughs> uh, actually, I can't dig it because she keeps stealing. I, I, she keeps stealing my stolen things. It's not me. <laughs> you. All right, I'm moving out. Moving out. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna draw two first. Drawing two. Woo and then, oh. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna go. I gotta heal myself up. Sounds so, good. So, well, I'm going there. That's it. So, I will. You gonna move him? No. I will know. Nope. When will you know? All right. I am going to. Can't seem to get into the kitchen for those spoons. I am going to pay five for two knives. What? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah. I'm hurt. I've really got no choice. And then I am going to. Try to make it to the showers. No, but I can go to where you are. And are you moving him. I mean, I don't have any tools. Sure. Two. He's going down here. Hit you. Uh, Alright, I'm going to heal myself. Heal yourself, physician. And then I'm going to move out. No. Stay with me. Three. You're going to the sub block. I guess I'm going up here. Um. Oh yeah, I didn't take my cigarette at the end of last turn. Yeah. I'm going to heal. And then I am going to craft. Crafty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I needed to have discarded last turn because I Ooh. had twelve. Wow. There's one and one more. How about some more of this crappy string? Now I'm at nine, which is where I should be. And one more sig. You. Hey, moving him. Um. Yeah, he's not dangerous to me. He's dangerous to you, though. He says, give me a spoon. Don't have it. I'll Would just you? take a beating. All right, there we go. You lost. Ah, you lost a knife. A uh, razor blade. All right. I need to make sure we didn't put any knives in here. I'm moving out. Uh, this knife should be out. I'm this knife should be out. out. Whoa. I'm going to the calf, and I'm going to get a spoon. To the calf? Yep. Calf and Atiria. I am done. You going to move him? No. I'm going to craft a pickaxe and a pickaxe. Whoops. Wrong place each time. All right, you. Uh, am I gonna move him? I need a sig. He could put me at risk. But yes, I'm gonna move him. Three. It's where I am. He wants nothing. Come on. Woo. I'm gonna draw two cards. Drawing two cards in the cafeteria. Then what? Oh, I am injured. I cannot craft. You can't uh, craft, but you can dig up a spoon. Just take a spoon, I guess. Do you want to move it? Uh, no. I'm going to move. Why would I do that? It's a three. I am going to dig my way out. And give me my sick. Dig, 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 Diggity, dig, 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 dig you. Are you moving him now, I guess? Uh, I am not going to risk it. All right. I'll draw two cards. I'm drawing two cards. And then? No, and then. Mm, that's bad. 
You've taken what I've rightfully stolen. <laughs> That's what happened, Dan. One of these. I'm done. Not moving. Um, my turn. I'm going to dig and dig. And get my free sig. Dig a dig a sig. Me? Yes. I'm moving. One. Moving to me. Would you and like to fight me for it? No, I'm going to just dig. Just dig. And I've you're going to move him? just to dig. No. Came here just to touch it. I came here to dig. I'm moving down here. Yep. I am going to spend eight sigs for a chuvel. A chuvel? A chuvel. You're done moving yeah. him? Uh, yes, I'm moving him. Mm. It's a four. Definitely moving into the cafeteria. I'm going to dig some twice with spoons. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a lot. And I'm not going to roll. Oh, I need my cigarette. <laughs> Actually, I will roll one. Why not? Why not? Yay. Uh, of course. One. Let's just <laughs> get it on. What do you want? What do you want? He wants I, a shovel. I don't know how to shovel. So, take a beating. Mmm. Mmm. No. No. Oh, he still wants a shovel, but he's good with it now. I cut. You get a free card, I believe. No, oh, hopefully. I beat yes. him. I beat the big you guy. You beat the big guy, and he gives you a search card. What did you get from him? I got a tape. Not, well, you didn't have to show me, but. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> he's like, you have this tape. <laughs> uh, I, are you going to move him? No, you did move him. I'm going to spend eight to take a shovel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to move. And this oh. was one action. That seemed like enough. That's <laughs> and for five, I'm going to draw two more knives. Uh... <laughs> and then get my free seg. You. Words are hard. Words are hard. Alright, I'm gonna move out. Great design not having the six spherical, yeah. Four. Alright. Oh, I meant to move him out. Okay. But you may not want to move there. Then again, you might. Uh, six. He's moving the shower. So you move to the yard. Yeah. And then? Then I want, I want a shovel from you. From me? Yeah. Oh, you're not getting a shovel from me. Why? Please? Uh, no, I just made two knives. Oh, I didn't see that. I, I made two knives. I uh, paid five cigarettes for it. All right, you win, so. Yay! The knives go here, the blades go here. Give me one of those cards. You had to do something. I got a neckerchief. Then I will move him. Move out. Uh, you moved and extorted. Oh, I did. So I will move him. One. Right. To the block. Yeah. I'm moving. I'm moving to the block. And he says he wants a spoon. I don't have a spoon, so I will take a beating. Oh, hey. It's my turn still. And I finish it up with... The... No! Ah. <laughs> and I take a cigarette. Put it in here. No. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and Nick has squeezed his Nick. way out of a tiny hole. <laughs> you got 12? I got 12. You got 9. I got 9. I had a spare shovel just in case, but... How many How many attack actions did you have that you could have played on me? I know you discarded some. Three more? No, I mean... Action cards. Uh, I discarded. I saw you discard some of them, but yes. I wasn't sure. Uh, a body search. Um, randomly discard two cards from your hand. Mm. And there was another one. There was another one. I don't think I ended up discarding it. No, I did not. Uh, it was soap. <laughs> uh, I would have. I could have beaten you up in the showers but obviously I never got to the showers your ability did very not very dirty prisoner <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, Michelle taught me a few tricks in the showers. Oh, I bet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figured, hey, I can take a beating. I might as well go ahead and take it. Um, this is super light. It's it, it's not it's not got a ton of strategy, but there are interesting decisions as you're going around. Do I do I move? Do I risk moving? Do I do a careful move? Um, do I risk moving Michelle? Um, I think I think the Atama really does help a lot in two player games, especially if we don't want to be confrontational directly against each other. We can let the Atama do it, do our dirty work. Um, so, so even these cards are one side and the other different artwork. I think that's interesting. Oh, really? Oh, there are two sides to these cards. I didn't realize. It's nice. Cool. It's nice artwork for sure. So there are not four abilities. There are eight because you've got these four and then well, you no, turn Well, no, because they're the same ability on both sides. Oh, they're the same ability but different art? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I got it. So it all depends whether you are a female Bratva or a male Bratva. That's right. I got you. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you know... It, it feels like prison. You know, you go into a room and then you're going to get beat up. <laughs> like I, I watched all of like Orange is the New Black and everything like that. So it, it, it does feel thematic to those different prison shows that I've seen. Um, and it's, it's, it's easy. It's a take that game that I don't mind. Because it's so fast. Yeah, I mean, uh, turns are fast. You could get luck into it. Like I had that riot and caused the riot on I'm you. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna lose four cards. <laughs> like you just stole my shovel. I so, need to get it back somehow. I had to start a riot. I had two <laughs> knives or knife. We I had two weapons of, yeah. of some of any uh, any sort, and a shovel in my in my eight cards. Guess who ended up with these three cards? <laughs> this girl. She left me. She left me. You still had all the cigarettes in the world. No, so. no, 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 no. Well, I did because you can't you can't riot those away. No. This is what she left me with. I did end up crafting two A pickaxes yeah, with those. Yeah, I mean, why not? But no, that's that's two actions. So? That's two actions. If I and, had it and I could craft, I couldn't craft because I was but, I was beat up. Okay, so so you were beat up, but here's the thing: that was two actions. And I had no knives to defend myself at that point. I'm like, I gotta draw cards. I, you really have no ch no choice at that point. So I ended up eventually making those two pickaxes. Yeah. But it wasn't immediately, that's for sure. Well, so this game delivered to Kickstarter backers and I'm pretty sure it is I think available. it's already out. It's copyright 2021. So I believe it's already available, I'm Drew. I'm Googling it to see if I can find it. Can you buy it? I thought you can. That is the question. I see it on... Oh, I did not even use my ability. I should probably say what I had. Well, yeah, what did you have? Oh. Uh, what was it? You know what? Did you even read it? Uh, I did, but I forgot I had it. During your turn, you can craft pickaxes in the cell block. <laughs> Oh, well, that and if would I was, have been if I was really a member good. Of, if I was a member of Triads, I could craft shovels. But oh. here's the thing. I didn't craft a whole lot. I bought them with cigarettes. But like you said, you had the cards to, I had the, yeah. to make pickaxes. So specifically, that would have been handy if you were in the cell block at the time. <laughs> I never liked rules. Yeah, um, the one I had in the game, first game I played with Steph is, I'm going to cut you with your own knife. And so basically, you basically take a knife from their hand and use it on them. So that was interesting. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I've watched Orange is the New Black. I've watched Wentworth. I've watched Oz. Um, all the prison shows, I'm in. So if you like prison shows, those are the best. Um, but this uh, this does feel like, hey, I got to make sure I get all the stuff I, that I need. And... Um, I have played other prison games before, like Alcatraz. Um, mm. uh, what's it? What is it called? Uh, Alcatraz something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's where you're trying to um, make one guy uh, not necessary, and you escape with everybody else. But that ends up with one loser and a whole bunch of winners, and that that often doesn't sit well. Mm. Um, originally created by Kuzni Gear and then licensed to okay. somebody. 
it feels thematic because yeah, there's gonna be a lot more like stuff in the bathrooms hiding in the wall based on my limited knowledge of prison. Uh, there's going to be you're going to have more trading and, and handling in the courtyards and stuff like that. Uh, you'll you'll get weapons from like like I. I'm not necessarily saying you're going to go dig out of prison. Like, I don't feel But like if you that. do dig out of prison, it's going to be from the cell block. Well, yeah. <laughs> We've so, seen this. So you dig yeah. at night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that um, in, like, Shawshank and stuff. But the, the places where things are traded or you end up finding stuff, you're going to find it in the showers. Uh, you're going to find it in the cafeteria. You're going to find it in the rec yard. You're not going to find it as much in the cell block or the infirmary because... You know, you can't get a lot of weapons out there, but you're going to find it out in the in the yard. You're going to, oh, I can I can use this screw or I can use this, you know, piece of wood or whatever. Yeah, it's um, interesting. It's interesting. It's got some really cool things. Uh, there are not any uh, special things on the player boards. They're all basically the same. So, uh, yeah, the first time I played, I was Carlos. Mm -hmm. Because you were watching all the tattoo shows, so I decided to be. I decided to be the guy with all the tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I like Luther. He's got. He's just this big brick wall. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, none of them have special powers, and I think, you know, part of me thinks that if these had special special powers, that would be cool. But you get that with the with the gang cards, I think. You get that and with so the I gangs, think and necessary. you get it with your hometown advantage or whatever card. Your background, yes. Yeah, so you have so a this little sort of bit gets of something. Uh, but it is a one-time use, so you aren't going to get a whole lot of mileage from that. But The yeah. gang card, you get a lot of mileage from, I think. Um, I got it one, a little bit of mileage on mine, but the first game I got a lot more mileage on. I got cigarettes. And if you need cigarettes, I got I, I know a guy. You know a guy? <laughs> nice. So that is Dig Your Way Out from Borderline Editions. As Drew said, the 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 website is all in French. Um, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it's probably available. So if uh, this sort of game appeals to you, check it out. Yeah, definitely. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. As soon as we dig our way out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 